Hello everyone and welcome back to Aviation A to Z. Today we are going to learn about Radio Telephony Restricted or RTR license. RTR license is one of the important and mandatory license to use aeronautical communication equipments and we will see everything in detail. So let's get started. In this video we will see what is RTR and its purpose. Who conducts RTR exam in India? How to apply for RTR exam, examination structure, classification of RTR license, and at last tips and tricks for clearing RTR exam. So watch this video till end to know each and everything about RTR. Radio Telephony Operators License RTR is a mandatory requirement for use of communication equipment in an aircraft. RTR is a professional license of international standard and it's really necessary for pilots, AMEs, ATCs, flight dispatchers and any person using aircraft radio communication equipment to communicate with each other. Now let's understand the purpose of RTR. It's really unique and different license and its purpose is simple to shorten the sentence by using standard aviation terminology without creating any confusion and misunderstanding and keeping it short and simple. RTI examination is conducted by WPC that is Wireless Planning and Coordination Wing of Ministry of Communication under Government of India. The RTR license is issued by Director of Training and Licensing at DGCA Headquarters. Earlier it was online but now you need to apply offline by filling application form with applicable document to respective address within specified period. WPC conduct this exam 6 times per year on even months at 5 fixed centers which are Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai, Kolkata and Hyderabad. In Delhi it is conducted twice a year. You will get all exam related notification and schedule on WPC official site which is www.wpc.government.in in month of December for upcoming year. The site will display tentative date of exam and centers. Cost of exam is 500 rupees per attempt and there is no limitation on attempt. You can give it as many as attempt until you clear it. First of all, there is no eligibility criteria, but you need to have PCM in 12th, which makes minimum 10 plus 2 PCM in 18 years old as our criteria. Exam is conducted in two parts. Part 1 is transmission and procedures while part 2 is oral examination. Let us understand them both. In part 1 transmission and procedures, a practical test is conducted of regulation procedures. The exam will be evaluating your knowledge on phonetic alphabet, general procedure for radio telephone working and candidate must be able to carry out preparation for transmission, exchange of traffic, use of priorities requesting DF assistance, obtaining meteorological and weather information, position reports, distress urgency and etc. In this test, you will be provided a headset and examiner will act as ATC. You need to solve 5 questions of 100 marks in just 25 minutes. But the real task is writing down the answer while transmitting and noting down the ATC's reply that with proper format and it's really a multitasking examination. For clearing part 1, you need more than 50 marks. After that only, you can apply for part 2. Part 2 is oral examination and it will include regulation and procedures as well as radio principle and practices. In this, examiner will be two persons, one from WPC and another from DGCA. Both will ask questions related to ITC and radio regulation, general and aeronautical cue codes, 
aviation abbreviations and phonetic alphabets and many more regulatory and principal questions. While in radio principles and practice, they will ask about basic electricity and electronics, air ground communication including cell call, operation of microphone and headphone and much more related to aircraft communication. Watch this video till end to know the best reference and to get our special bonus. Now let's see which book you must refer. According to WPC syllabus, there are number of books such as Ecow's publication, which includes Annex 10 Volume 1 and 2, Doc 4444, Doc 9432, and Doc 8400. DGCA and Airport Authority publication also includes AIP and A Radio. There are many books, but best book according to instructors and student is R.K. Bali's Aviation Radio Telephony Guide, which includes each and everything and hard copy is available in bookstores. Now let's see classification of RTR license on the basis of CPL country. RTR A or RTR Aeronautical. You need this to get CPL in India and it holds lifetime validity. RTR P or RTR Permit. This license is issued on the basis of your CPL and FRTOL only if you have completed your training from Commonwealth countries such as Australia, New Zealand and UK. If you have not, then you need to apply for RTR-A and give both Part 1 and Part 2 examination. Next is RTR-C or RTR Convergent. This is issued when you have FRTOL of Commonwealth country, but CPL is issued by some non-Commonwealth country. FRTL is Flight Radio Telephone Operator's License and you must clear Part 1 as per WPC rule. Remember, RTRP and RTRC have fixed validity depending on FRTOL and CPL validity or maximum of 3 years. Also, all three licenses hold same privileges. Now, let us see the most important topic, tips and tricks for clearing RTR exam. Number 1. Most important thing is, you must refer correct books, solve RTR charts and practice the actual transmission with your colleague. Number 2. Which many people recommend, join RTR classes. There are many online and offline classes which give proper guidance and notes to clear exam. Number 3. The part 1 is really multitasking process so that your eagerness and activeness is evaluated. But you need to keep yourself calm and practice a lot at home. Also, try to attempt all the questions and don't think of minimum passing marks. Number 4. When going for part 2 after clearing part 1, you need to be confident and try to answer all the questions what WPC and DGC officer is asking. Sometimes they will ask out of syllabus but worry not, take your time and then answer whatever you know about it. But don't keep silence. Before going for exam and oral, read all rules and regulation carefully as it will guide you as well as make you feel confident. And at last, the most important, never argue with examiner or else he she may reject your application form. That's all for RTR examination. If you are still watching, here is your bonus. We have tried to provide the sample question papers, syllabus, documents required to appear in RTR exam, definition needed for RTR and all the material necessary for exam. You can download each and everything through Google Drive. The link is provided down in description below. And if you like this video, click on like button and share this video with your colleagues. I hope you got some ideas and will clear your RTR exam. All the very best from our side. And don't forget to share this video to colleague and subscribe this channel. And click on bell icon to never miss our video. Till then, good luck. See you soon in next video.